Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, I'm pretty sure this is when you'll be seeing this. Um, I forgot to start this before I started putting my smoothie together, but I'm gonna take you through like a what I eat in a day, but then also like a meal prep type video. So I'm gonna show you kind of like the go-tos that I grab from that are satisfying, but still keep me healthy because we're not about living with restrictions here. So I'm just making a smoothie right now. I love smoothies because I'm not like super hungry in the morning to like chew a bunch of food. So smoothies are a great way for me to get a ton of calories in, eat some greens, all that good stuff. And I just drink it and it's great. So number one rule I have when it comes to just starting your day is just drink water right when you get up in the morning before you eat breakfast, just have water in your system. The earlier you start drinking it, the more consistent you'll be throughout the day. And then start your day off with a healthy, wholehearted breakfast that makes you feel good, gives you energy, sets you up for a good day. So I'm making my smoothie first, then I'm gonna take you through like my breakfast, which is like a mid-morning snack, um, but it's the only time that I wanna eat it, like actually chew food. So this is what I eat first. Um, I have mixed frozen berries on the bottom, vanilla, um, I don't think it's Greek yogurt, I don't think I have Greek right now, but it's a vanilla yogurt. Um, I have a greens powder, so a scoop of Believes greens powder, spinach, like about a handful of it, a banana, um, a scoop of vegan protein powder, because isolate and whey don't work with me. Um, and then I'm just gonna add some orange juice, and then I'm gonna blend it all together for my morning snack and it's something probably really important to remember about me is that I don't really like to track very much i do track sometimes to understand like where i'm at but i'm more so of like an intuitive eater and i track more so protein just for the gain side of it but i'm gonna go blend this and then i will come back in a little bit when i'm prepping my food so i can show you kind of what i'm doing this week what i'm eating and how awesome food can be while you're still being healthy so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go drink this and then we'll get to it. Okay, so I'm just putting my water on to boil because I'm gonna make some rice. So I'm using the pure basmati rice, the gluten-free. Um, I'm gonna make a whole cup of rice and then just put it in a container for my dinners But I'm gonna show you like actual meals as I go throughout the day I'm just gonna show you a little bit of my meal prep stage um, Just because I have a few things I need to like pre-cook and do before I can actually make my meals So okay, so first things first um, The things I need to do is I need to make patties for my burgers and I'm gonna like make a bunch and then put some in the fridge slash freezer I need to also chop up and then bake all my little potatoes to have with my burgers. Um, all my meals though, I am just gonna use frozen veggies for them because I have frozen veggies and I need to use them. Um, but what I'm gonna do for the burgers is I actually have four packs of extra lean ground beef. So I'm gonna make all four of these and then just freeze a bunch of patties. Um, and then I'll show you like actually what I put on the burgers when I make them later. But we're just gonna make the patties for now and I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm literally just gonna open all the packages and put them in this bowl okay so i have all of the meat in here i probably could use the bigger bowl but i'm going to explain something first so it makes sense like how i'm going to do this but i have this little container so i'm going to put burgers for like this week in that container that i'm going to cook daily but i also i'm going to measure them so i have my scale um, obviously it's best to measure out all of your meat and carbs, proteins, everything like that after they're cooked. So that way like they don't have all like the liquids or you get them cooked at their like actual density. So it's obviously not gonna be like exact, but I'm gonna measure out each burger patty to um, like 115 to 125 grams. And then I'm just gonna make them into patties, push them in parchment paper, put them in the container have my week's worth in there and then I'm going to freeze the rest of them but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that but first we're going to add spices so I literally just have like a bag of spices from the move still um, I'm going to start by adding some garlic powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of the meat and I'm going to add everything that I want so 
This is Spicy Cajun. I like spicy food. Um, this is ground red cayenne pepper. Basically just add whatever it is that you that you want for your spices. This is garlic essence. Um, also, majority of these are from True Taste. They're actually really good if you wanna check them out. Okay, and then we're gonna add some black pepper and a little bit of salt. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna mix it together with my hands so that way all the seasonings are spread around and then I'll do the weighing out of everything and organizing it all. Okay, so it's all mixed together in here. Um, keeping it fairly basic, all I'm gonna do is use a cast iron pan and cook them that way when I eat them and I'm gonna cook it fresh every single day that I eat it um, until I get my barbecue set up, which I don't know if it's gonna be this week or when it's gonna happen. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do here. So I'm just gonna move the camera down so you'll be able to see my face, but that way you can see kind of like the rest of it. <laughs> okay, so I have my scale here. Um, what I'm going to do is take some parchment paper. Since we're only making like small burgers, I'm just gonna cut it so it's just big enough for the burger, put it on my scale, and then what I'm gonna do is scoop. So that's about 100. Okay. 125 seems like a good amount, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off of there and smush it into like a patty shape, like that. And then taking my container, I'm just gonna flop it in there, so it's in my container. And then I'm just gonna stack it on top there. Okay, so I got my burgers for like the week done. I still have a little bit to go through to like measure and uh, freeze, but we're gonna make potatoes and I don't know, hopefully that works. Um, I just wanna get these done because the oven's ready and I have work to do. So I don't wanna be <laughs> doing this super late today because I also need to go to the gym and get a bunch done. So I have two bags of mini potatoes. All I'm gonna do is take some more parchment paper. Okay, so I just lined a baking sheet like mediocrely. And all I'm gonna do is just take my baby potatoes and cut them in half because they're already pretty small and then put them in this bowl so I can mix it with some oil. But I'm just gonna jump through this and not Obviously show you me doing every single one of them, so I'll see you guys when I'm ready to oil and spice them. Okay, got the potatoes all done and cut up. So I'm gonna take some avocado oil, um, just for some healthy fats and also so they don't burn, and just give a good portion on there, and then just mix them together so they're all coated. My tripod's not big enough for this, but I'm gonna just add some pink Himalayan salt to my potatoes. And the reason I'm doing these as like my side for my burgers is because I want like burgers and fries. So salty baby potatoes baked in the oven with a burger. Yes, please. And it's healthy. So let's shake the salt on there. I'm going to take our pan and then I'm just going to spread them out evenly so that way they cook evenly. I'm just gonna throw these in the oven. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually I would say take like 20 to 30 minutes depending. Um, I use the teeny tiny baby potatoes so they don't take very long. I basically just cook them until they're at like the desired consistency and I just stick a fork in them. So we're gonna bake them. So the only other thing I need to cook that I'm not cooking right now is my chicken. Um, so like I said, I'm having burgers and potatoes for like burgers and fries. And then I'm actually making like a, the reason I made rice is because I'm gonna make a chicken teriyaki rice bowl. This camera's really crooked. Okay, so I'm making a chicken teriyaki rice bowl, but I have a really big pack of chicken and it was in the freezer, so it's actually still defrosting. Um, so it might take a little bit, but I'll cook that possibly just later on. Um, that part I really don't need to show you because I'm literally just gonna cube it and then cook it in teriyaki sauce and then throw it on top of my rice but I will show you when I make all my meals throughout the day as well. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown of like my meal prep. So that way you can see kind of like what I do to keep myself more on track, even if it's not like full on making everything, cooking it perfectly through like everything like that. Like I've just like made the burgers that I'm gonna cook later. Um, but I just wanna show you guys a little bit of like the inside of what I do. I still need to go and make the rest of the burgers and organize that. So I'm gonna do that off camera, but that's all I'm meal prepping for now, so quick and easy, it doesn't take me very long. I got potatoes, the burger's ready, the rice ready, and then when it comes to lunch, I literally just have to cook the patty and put my burger together. 
and then just heat up the potatoes and I'm good to go. When it comes to my dinner, then I'm going to have to make my chicken and then um, throw my bowl together and I'll show you what I'm going to put in the bowl. But for now, that is all I'm going to make. I will show you, I'm going to make my breakfast right away. I'm just going to finish up my smoothie, but I'll show you my actual breakfast soon. It's already 10.04. Um, I got to go do a little bit more work though and then... Yeah, I'll show you what I do as I make my food throughout the day. Because I think I'm going to have a breakfast or two breakfast sandwiches. And then my lunch for the burgers and fries. And then Kodak cakes. So I'm going to show you all that. But that's it for now. So see you guys when I make my breakfast. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my breakfast. Super simple, super easy, but delicious. I'm still drinking my smoothie, but I'm like to the point of hungriness where it's like no matter what I drink... I'm still like I want to eat food now so I'm gonna have them both together but what I use is these multi-grain English muffins I'm gonna make two eggs and then basically all I do is I put a little base cell on the English muffins when they come out of the toaster just the original one and then I also use the light cheese whiz um, I don't like cheese really in general so you'll see me use this too like on the burgers but i'm just gonna make this i'm gonna show you it um you can add like ketchup or whatever you want on it i just need a basic because i have so much stuff in my smoothie that i just want to keep it simple but it's so good so i toast the english muffins i fry the eggs obviously i'll show you a little bit of what i'm doing there and then put them together so we can enjoy a nice yummy meal Okay, so while I finish up making my breakfast, there's a couple little things I just wanted to say about like meal prepping in general and picking your foods. Don't go plain and boring unless you're like in a prep. The reason I say that is because you're not gonna like your food and you're gonna wanna give up eating it like as soon as possible. So the things that I do are, I add things that I like. So I'm, I love salt and it's not even like, salt in general it's just like savory things always add like salty things to my meals um, i'm just making my english muffin so i'm adding butter um but that's why like i put like potatoes and i add salt instead of like just random seasonings um and same thing with like my eggs i put salt on them so i always add things that i love and that help with my cravings because it's like a life hack for being healthy you don't want to cut out the things you enjoy and if that's something you struggle with, we actually just recently launched an intuitive eating program within my group. So the link will be in the bio. And what we do in there is you get a full guide on how to intuitively eat. And the reason we started this is because obviously there's a lot of girls that struggle with eating disorders and just being able to like overall balance out their diets and so we started this program so that way you don't have to track and you don't have to understand or not understand but you don't have to see every single day like how many grams of carbs you're eating how much protein so we do everything in a intuitive mindful way in this program so if you guys are interested in that it'll be in the bio but i always add foods that i love into my meal plans things that help with cravings like the salt um sauces like if you go to supplement king they have some really good barbecue sauces that are like zero calories zero sugar and they actually taste good so if you're worried about like the calories amount like calorie amount and you're actually tracking your food fully then there's tons of options for like no calorie or low calorie options for seasonings and condiments but um, that's my number one thing is just adding food you enjoy. So like I love breakfast sandwiches, which is why I add them into my meal plans. And I love burgers and fries. So we make our own versions that are healthier so we can enjoy our food still without going overboard. And the other thing that I want to add in here for like a little tip before I go and eat my breakfast. Um, when you're meal prepping, I know it's hard to like understand how much you should meal prep and like portion sizes. Um, I always say meal prep more than you think you need because I know people don't like wasting food, but if you meal prep under the amount from Monday to Friday that you actually need to consume, 
by the time Friday comes around and if you don't have enough food, you're going to eat out, you're going to fall off track, and then you're starting your week of, weekend off crappy because you weren't in your flow still of eating the meal prepped healthier foods. So meal prep more than you think you need. Like the potatoes I just made, that's a lot of potatoes, but I'd rather have more than less because I'll be more inclined to eat, say on Saturday, a little bit healthier if I have more, but if I have less and I don't have enough for Friday, then I'm going to be more inclined to eat bad throughout the weekend. So those are my little tips and tricks. I'm going to go finish cooking my eggs so I can make up the breakfast sandwiches. I'll show you them when they're done and then I'm going to eat them and then I'll be back for our burgers for lunch. Okay, little update on my day. It's already 1.45. I was going to make my lunch like the burger and fries. I think I'm just gonna make it when I get home from the gym because I haven't done anything this morning. Like I've just been sitting on the couch working. So I haven't really moved much. I'm not super hungry. So I think I'm just gonna have a little snack. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a granola bar or something to the gym with me, do my workout cause I won't be long and then come home and make it. Cause I'm already like later in the day for my schedule of eating anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. And if I eat later on, that just means that I'll push my like the rest of my meals throughout the day and that let's look at them all in it just will be a different time frames as usual so i'm gonna go to the gym quick just grabbing my stuff and getting it ready and then i will make the burgers with y'all when i come back and enjoy that as my post-workout little feasty okay i completely forgot because i was filming that last clip in the house and i said i was gonna probably grab like a granola bar or something um, I ended up just grabbing a banana. I've made half of it so far. I'm going to finish it before I go in the gym, chug my pre-workout. Um, but I also take a performance fuel, which is like a carb type powder. So there is like some carbs in that as well. That one's an intro workout. So that also gives you more carbs, which is great for me because when I do track, I have a lot of carbs I need to consume because I actually need to eat a lot of food. Um, so I do have that in my workouts because I find it also helps me stay more like energized alert and i don't get as like those dizzy spells if you know what i'm talking about when, like when you stand up after like lifting heavy so i'm just having a banana because it's a fast digesting carb it's a good energy source it'll get into my body and actually give me fuel for my workout um a lot of foods they don't digest that quickly so then you don't actually have the energy so hence the banana but i'm gonna go do my workout and then i'll be back to do the burger at lunch with y'all soon Okay, I'm back from the gym. It's time to make our burgers. I got all my patties here, so I'm just gonna take one of them there. Some potatoes. We're gonna use some buns, some cheese whiz, mustard, ketchup, and some relish. And we're gonna make a yummy burger. In order to cook the burger like it was made on a barbecue, because I don't have mine set up yet, I'm gonna use this little mini cast iron, which is gonna be perfect for the size of the burger. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of avocado oil into it, obviously, so it doesn't like burn and stick everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to let this heat up for a little bit here. And then I will throw the burger on, but we can get the bun and stuff ready. Okay, I bought this plate specifically for filming videos, and I was making, um, I have a recipe ebook for my group, and I was like taking all the pictures on it. And I loved it and then I moved and the movers literally threw my boxes around to the point where they looked like they were like rolled. And there's like chips all over all my plates. Some of them showed up broken. So we're gonna make our burger on it though. So I have these buns. If you've tried these before, they're delicious. I'm gonna add some light cheese whiz to one side. I'm gonna add some sweet green relish on top of the cheese whiz and i'm just going to take some frenchies french whatever yellow mustard frenchies ketchup this is the um bottled in canada with 100 percent canadian tomatoes okay so i'm going to cook the burger and then i'm just going to measure out about 100 grams ish of potatoes just for the fact that like i've had two english muffins and now i'm having a burger bun and then I had a bunch of fruit in my smoothie. So it's a lot of carbs. So I'm just gonna have 100 grams, which is a smaller amount of baby potatoes. So I'm just gonna measure it out onto a little plate and then I'll put it on my big plate after. So I don't really track my food very much anymore, but I do have like an eyeball kind of guesstimate of what I'm gonna eat or I just measure it out like 100 grams, 120 grams, whatever. Um, just so I know kind of like what's going in my body, but like that's 100 grams. Like that's not that many potatoes. 
So I'm gonna heat that up and then add it to my plate to have with my burger. But we're gonna cook the burger first. Okay, it's time to make the chicken teriyaki. This is gonna be a really short clip because the video is already so long. Um, I'm just gonna cube up my chicken and then I'm literally just gonna cook it in a pan with this teriyaki sauce, just like thick teriyaki. And then I'm gonna add all my stuff to a bowl so to show you the bowl at the end and kind of what I put in it. But it's not gonna be a big bowl because I'm not that hungry yet, but I just need to eat something. And then we'll see kind of where I'm at at the end of the day if I'm gonna eat like another snack or how I'm feeling, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, super quick explanation. I have rice, a little bit of lettuce, chicken with teriyaki sauce, and I did put some pineapple in it. Um, I put the pineapple in after like the chicken was cooked so it got like in the sauces. I'm just gonna mix it all together and eat it. And I've made a smaller portion just cause I'm not super hungry right now. And I'll let you guys know if I'm gonna have another snack later. It's only 6.16 so there's a possibility I'm gonna get hungry again, so we'll see. But I just wanna keep the rest of it short and sweet since this video is actually really long so far. Okay, I was just running around outside with my dog. I'm gonna eat this freezy. It's a Mott's fruit station. And this is apple blueberry. So I'm gonna have this as a little snack because I'm literally overheating. And I'm having another glass of water. Still don't know if I'm gonna have another snack later, but maybe a bowl of cereal. We'll see. Okay, I am hungry. This is my final meal of the day. I'm using my funky bowls from Costco. And we're having some cereal. So we're gonna use these cinnamon rice krispies. And again, eyeballing it. I love cereal. I used to mix, and if I had it, I would do it, but my almond milk with protein powder to add extra protein. But, or sorry, I have oat milk right now. Um, if you've ever had like a sweetie kind of sugary cereal with vanilla almond or vanilla protein powder with almond milk or milk in general, it's so sweet, it's disgusting. So right now I only have vanilla, I don't have unflavored. So I'm just gonna have cereal just cause I want a little snack. Um, and I just use, this is the zero grams of sugar per serving silk oat milk, delicious. This is my final meal of the day. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your go-to like meal snack is, or let me know what your favorite one out of this one was. And if you're gonna recreate it and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any more videos with me or with us. Cause we have lots coming up. Um, but other than that, that's all I gotta say. I, this was a long video for me to film and a lot of editing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than usual, but I wanted to make sure I got all the details in there. And yeah, so hope you guys have the most amazing weekend ever or day if you're just watching this on a random day, not the day I posted it. And I will see you guys in the next one.